Learning more tonight about a case of contagious tuberculosis identified in Davis. UC Davis says the infected person is among the Davis campus community. ABC 10's Alicia Machado talked with Yolo County Public Health today. Alicia, tell us what you learned. Well, Laura, Yolo County Public Health is working with the university to identify and notify people who had extended close contact with that infected individual. Now, today, we spoke with the public health officer to learn more about the case and what you might be able to look for. Contact tracing is underway in Davis after a case of contagious tuberculosis was identified among the campus community. That's according to UC Davis. The illness spreads through the air and can be breathed in. We're particularly concerned with frequent or prolonged um, indoor exposures in enclosed spaces. We're looking at an eight hour cumulative exposure. Yellow County Health Officer Dr. Amy Sisson says the health department has identified a set of close contacts to the infected individual. They are working to notify them of their exposure and bring them in for a blood test and evaluation to determine if they caught TB. At this point, outside of that um, circle of close contacts, the risk to the general campus community and the Yellow County community is low. Dr. Sisson says the infected individual no longer poses a risk to the campus community, but they were infectious for several months, from April to November. They couldn't provide more details about the individual for confidentiality reasons. Tuberculosis symptoms typically include coughing, fatigue, and fever, which are similar to symptoms of other respiratory viruses like COVID, flu, and RSV. But here's how to spot the difference. Sometimes coughing up blood and a prolonged cough, so not just a couple of days of coughing, but we often see people who have had a cough for months. Dr. Sisson says tuberculosis is treatable with antibiotics and also curable. She says TB is harder to catch than other infectious diseases. In Yolo County, we average about six cases of active tuberculosis in a year. Um, so it, that's a very small number of, of people. Dr. Sisson tells me there are a small number of active cases in Yolo County, but we don't know if any of them are related to this case. Now, while other uh, countries vaccinate against tuberculosis, Dr. Sisson says the United States does not because there are generally lower rates here. She also says that wearing a mask, a high quality mask can be protective, but she adds that the risk of catching TB is low, so there isn't a need to wear one.